Hey there, welcome to Mike's Workbench, and I'm Mike Giannotti here in St. Michael's Forge, where we're getting stuff done and learning as we go because we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to learn something new today. So last time we took my first dagger attempt um, and we heat treated it to get the, the steel normalized, which is slightly different than annealed, the state it came in. So here it is out of the vermiculite. And I gotta tell you, it looks great. Um, I don't have all that scaling. I put the no, the new, uh, new, new clay or no scale 2000 on it. We put it in at 500 degrees and even heat kiln. It ramped on up to the temp that I set it at. And again, it's all about precision because it's handling everything we pre-program it. So what we gotta do today, we're gonna pre-program it. I've got my uh, Parks 50 oil sitting out here right uh, in close proximity for a quick swoosh on over. Um, but I'm gonna quick apply just a little more nuclear on it. And then uh, from that point, once it's this is dry, I'm gonna let it sit and dry. Then I'll restart the video and we're gonna program it on the fly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up to, we're gonna call this one, uh, quench or harden, I'll call it harden cycle. So we're gonna bring it up to 500, knife will go in, Alar alarm will go off, we'll put the knife in. Then from 500, it'll ramp on up to 1475. Another alert will let me know it's there and it started its 10 minute soak and it will sit at 1075 for 10 minutes. Then the final alarm will come out and that's the time we'll crack this baby open and then bring it over and psh, fast quent. So I'm excited. Um, so far, everything's good. No warpage. Everything's perfectly straight the way it should be. And uh, this blade is shaping up much better than I thought. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we've gone ahead. I put the new clay on the knife. I have it actually hanging from my fuller attachment for the OBM blade grinder. That's drying. Uh, so we're not going to be rushed like we were last time. And here we are, we're gonna to come to the menu and we're gonna to go to schedules and we are going to create a new schedule. So we'll click new schedule. We wanna give it a title and this is for hardening. So let's just shift that up. H A R D, I'll just call it harden. There we go, hit enter. Now we've got that. Next, we need to add a step. So the first step says, please enter segment one, the rate, rent, range, temperature. I'll just bring it up full power. So the way that we can do that, if I, you know, maybe when I get a little more advanced, I might do different ramping on the power, but what we're gonna select is nine, 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 four nines, and four nines, one, one, two, three, Four, that's called AFAP. So we're gonna go ahead, enter that. And the first temperature segment, we're gonna make, whoops, clear that, 500. That's the first temp, right? And we'll say enter. And I don't want a hold time uh, for the, well, actually I do, I wanna have time, it'll alert me. So I'll say two minutes, enter. Would you like to add a set point alert? Yes. Would you like to add a hold time alert? No. So there we go, that's step one. Now we're gonna add the second step. And so from here, we're gonna do the same ramp up. So nine, 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 enter. We're gonna give the temperature, which in this case can be 1475. And you may be saying, Michael, that's what you did the other day. Yes, it is the same temp. And it is, it's pretty much the same thing. But I'm gonna probably be adjusting some of this as we go, so that way I can just edit these if I have separate entries. Uh, but, you know, it is the same temp for doing that. The difference is I'm gonna fast quench and I'm keeping everything distinct. All right, and then it says, please enter segment two whole time. We want 10 minutes on that, enter. Come on, Mike. Enter, there we go. Would you like to add a set point alert? Oh yeah. 
Would you like to have a hold time? No. So it's gonna hold that now for 10 minutes and then it'll let me know when it's done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and say save. And there we go. There's our schedule. And if we come on out to the start button, you'll notice there is harden. And if we select that, which that knife is just about dry, so I think we're good. We're gonna go ahead, we selected it red for start, just like my Beretta, which red is go time. So let's go ahead and say start. And no, I don't want to delay. And there we go. So now we're gonna to start to see that slowly gonna to start to kick up and it'll uh, pick up in speed. And then it will be time to put that knife in. All right, so you can see it's the alarm's gone off. Just gonna say, okay, we can turn the alarm off. We're at 500 degrees. Let's come on over and get the knife, which is now dried. Come on, there we go. And I'm gonna take, here's one little moist spot on it, but that should be fine. We got that. And let's open her up. At 500, it won't be all orange. It's just a nice toasty in there. So we're gonna go ahead, put our knife in like so. Next time we open it, that bad boy is gonna be bright. So let's close this up. And now you can see the temperature. It went down just a bit because we had the door open, but it'll come back up. And in 36 seconds, 35, it'll begin its climb right back up to 1475. All right, so we're almost up to 75. There we go. And so the alarm is going. You can see now we've got 9 minutes, 54, 53. Does it for 10 minutes. It's going to soak at this. I can just turn that alarm off. And we're just going to leave it here. The next alarm is when we're going to open this up, go in and get it. It'll be nice or bright <laughs> inside there. And we're then going to uh, bring that on out and... Um, yeah, get it all quenched. So, 10 more minutes. So what we've done, we did a couple of things. Number one, pulled the knife out of the uh, even heat kiln. We brought it up to 500 degrees, knife went in. Then it went up to 1475, sat for 10 minutes, pulled it out and then we put it and quenched it in the Parks 50 oil here. I'm really excited because we hadn't overheated it. There was no flaming show, everything went perfect then wiped it down, put it in the vermiculite. Now we're gonna let the knife sit till it comes down to about 120 degrees. That's when we'll start our next video. And at that point, we're then going to go and make new settings on the even heat kiln for tempering. And for that, we're gonna set it to ramp on up to 400 degrees. I'll have it alert me at 400. Then we're gonna have it hold for two hours and it'll alert me again. So it'll give me time to put the knife in, hold, two hours we'll pull it out let it rest come back down then put it back in for another two hours so rinse and repeat but no scale on this knife i was losing a lot of mass before that's the difference with the precision i'm not overheating my knife i'm not having a flame 
a flame out show here when I do that, although that is fun, I admit. Um, and when I do some bigger blades, I won't be able to fit them in there. So you'll still get to see <laughs> drama at night. We'll do those at night. So it's fun, but uh, everything's working perfect. So even heat kiln, precision, 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 and repeatable, predictable results. So with that, this is Mike here at Mike's Workbench in St. Michael's Forge. And you have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you on the flip side when we temper that blade.